the ascension of our Lord, the Church prepares our hearts and minds to say farewell to our Master and Lord. Good morning, family and friends. Today we have this beautiful gospel reading from John's Gospel, chapter 16. As we get closer and closer to the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord, the Church prepares our hearts and minds to say farewell to our Master and Lord. It is very easy to say goodbye to our loved ones, isn't it? It's so hard. I am preparing myself as I get transferred soon from my current parish to a different parish to say goodbye to my parishioners. You know, some of them are already sad and they were you know, weeping and crying and they said they really feel you know, uh, they will miss me. I too will miss them. It's not an easy thing to say goodbye to our loved ones. And here Jesus preparing the hearts and minds of his disciples that soon he also had to say goodbye to them and go back to his heavenly Father. Jesus here says three levels of his, his goodbye. Yeah? First of all, he says that he has to go through his suffering, death and resurrection. And second level is a mystical level that although he will be with them for a few weeks, then again, through ascension, he will be going back to his, his heavenly father. Then he shares his mystical presence with us through the sacraments, through the presence of the Holy Spirit. Through the presence of the Holy Spirit. That's where he compares the sorrow and joy. Now you will weep, but you are weeping. Your sorrow will become joy. The present weeping and present pain will become a future glory and future joy that Jesus, Jesus compares. That's because of the Holy Spirit. Apostles, all of them experience that joy. Although they had to go through hardships and struggle, they experienced a sense of joy of the Holy Spirit in their heart. Today's readings invite us. Whatever that we go through, the present, the current sorrow, anguish will turn into joy as we receive the Holy Spirit in our hearts. May God bless us. Amen.